Um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this fur text effect, like in here. Um, and I apologize for the um, lack of tutorials lately. Hopefully, I'll get better at making tutorials a little more frequently. Unfortunately, you know, things things happen. Um, uh, and it's it gets harder to make tutorial ideas. So if you do have any tutorial suggestions, please feel free to message me, leave a comment. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is how to create this fur text effect in GIMP. Um, hopefully it looks like fur. Anyway, so go ahead. What, before you start this tutorial, you will need to download a custom brush. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download that at. Um, and if you don't know how to install brushes into GIMP, then I have a tutorial on that, so you can look for that on my channel. And if you can't find that, then just Google it. Um, so to start off, just go ahead and create a new image, whatever size you want. I'm just going to go with the default size. Um, now, I'm going to fill in my background with a radial gradient, uh, but you can do whatever you want in the background really. Um, and to do that I'm just going to go to my blend tool or my gradient tool and then I'm going to set my background color on a brown color. And then make sure the gradient uh, is foreground to background. Make sure that's selected and then your shape click that drop down menu and select radial. And then what I'm going to do is just click the center of my image and then click and drag to one of the corners of my image. And there we go, we have a nice radial gradient going on. And then select your text tool, which is the giant A in your toolbox. And then under font, select Arial Rounded Bold. And the color of your text does not matter. And then go ahead and type in whatever you want. I would recommend using all caps, um, but I'm sure you can try using lowercase. And then just position your text wherever you want. And I'm just doing this with the move tool. And then you can go ahead and um, actually right click on your fur layer in your layers window. Um, and if you don't have your layers window, just press Control L or go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Layers. Um, so right click on that uh, text layer and then select Text to Path. It should have a little A icon next to it. And then after that you can go ahead and hide that layer. You will no longer be needing it. Um, and then go into, go select your brush tool in your toolbox. It should look like a paintbrush. And then select, under brush, select the custom brush that you downloaded. And I have to change the scale down to 0.05, but that just depends on the image size you're working with. It's a fairly large brush, so you might need to scale that down accordingly. Um, I'd make it fairly small. And then click this brush dynamics drop down menu, and then um, under color, select the random checkbox and then check apply jitter and I'm going to go with an amount of 0.5 this also might uh, vary depending on image size I'm not sure just you might need to play around with some of these settings um, and then I'm going to change my foreground color to a brown you can do whatever color you want and then I'm going to change my background color to a dark brown. Again, you can do whatever you want. Now just um, in your layers window, uh, just click the this create a new layer icon um, and then just create a new layer. Then go into your paths dialog um, and if you don't have this, you can go to windows, dockable dialogs, paths. Um, and then there should be this new paths layer that is that says you whatever you typed in. Um, go ahead and right click on this and then select stroke path. And then this window should pop up and just select stroke with a paint tool. And make sure the paint tool that's selected is paintbrush. 
and then select stroke. And it should look something like this. Um, if it doesn't look like this, then uh, sometimes if your brush is too large, the text, you can't really read what it says. So um, if it does that, then you might need to change your brush size. And now what you want to do is make sure you're still on your brush tool. And then just go ahead and paint in the middle of your text. And you can go ahead and leave some empty areas. You don't have to paint all of it completely in. Now, after you've done that, now it's kind of starting to look like fur. Um, go ahead and create another new layer. And then I'm going to change my foreground color to a slightly lighter brownish color. And then I'll leave my foreground color as the same. And then just go to, um, and then go ahead to your pass dialog and right click and select stroke path again. And make sure it's on the same settings. Or you could also go to Edit Stroke Path. You can do that too. Um, and then in your Layers dialog, make sure you're selected on this new layer. Under Mode, click that drop down menu and select Grain Merge. And then lower the opacity to around 60 or 70. And then do what we did before and paint in the middle. You don't have to, you can just kind of paint it in a little this time. And it should start to look a little bit more like fur. And now I'm just going to make another new layer. And I'm also going to set this layer mode onto grain merge. Now I'm just going to change the foreground color to a slightly darker brown. And now I'm just going to paint around the edges of this just to give it a little bit more shape, I guess. I don't know. Just so it seems a bit more dimensional. And you can lower the opacity of this a little bit if you'd like. And there you go, you have your fur-like text effect. Um, so that's a pretty simple text effect, and hopefully I'll have a little bit more, um, some more tutorials uh, this month. I think I will, but you never know. So I'll try to update a little, bo a little bit more frequently.